I'm Isabel Durant and I work at Cardiff University leading the freshwater component of a large UK research council programme on the role of biodiversity in sustaining ecosystem services or in other words the things we need from our world's natural environment. Our project on upland freshwater landscapes is called Duress or to give it its grand title Diversity in Upland Rivers for Ecosystem Service Sustainability. This is a major multidisciplinary endeavour involving around 30 core researchers working in close collaboration with seven key stakeholder partners who have major interests in rivers and their management. We have on board our SBB, Welsh Water, Vanif Cymru, the Welsh Government, Forestry Commission, Countryside Council for Wales and the Environment Agency. I'd like to do three things in this short film. First, to give you some idea of the value of the UK streams and rivers. Second, to tell you what we'll do in the Duress project to understand the role of biodiversity in providing us with the key river ecosystem services on which we depend. And third, to tell you how we'll go about our project. So first, why are our streams and rivers so vitally important? When they are functioning, the river ecosystems contribute to social well-being and prosperity. Not only are rivers a unique source of fresh water, but they also provide food like fish and have strong cultural and recreational value. The quality of the UK's 380,000 kilometres of streams and rivers depends intricately on the catchment's landscapes that they drain. Up to recently, however, we have managed our catchments to provide goods with high market value like crops and fibre after overlooking the downstream consequences for many river services that mostly are taken for granted. Even more, we have overlooked the processes carried out by the multitude of river organisms that together help to sustain the ecological functions that deliver services. These same organisms are part of an intricate web of life that starts here in the river. The sun's energy is captured through the chlorophyll-rich organisms within and around the river. Once fixed, this energy is processed by all the river organisms that munch, scrape, filter and transform to forms others can use. Though through this web of life, everything from Atlantic salmon to dippers and kingfishers is created and fueled. But we still know very little of how different parts of this web fit and function together. We also lack quantitative understanding of how these river processes contribute to the clarification, purification and cost of clean water. Or how exactly they produce organisms such as fish and birds that are such an important part of our culture and our enjoyment of freshwater landscapes. Understanding all of these processes more fully is vital to all of us pressures on ecosystem services will grow in the future as land use intensifies, water demands increase and climate changes. However, our current knowledge seems to suggest that if we manage our river landscapes positively to support beneficial in-river organisms, we could increase the ecosystem service value and sustainability of our rivers. And that's the overarching hypothesis that the duress team will test here in the uplands of Wales. In the duress project we are studying river microbes, invertebrates, fish and river birds at all levels from genes to food webs and we will seek to address quantitatively first the links between biodiversity, ecological function and service delivery. Second, how river biodiversity affects the resilience of ecosystem service delivery through time. And third, how changes in catchments and climate affect services delivered by river biota in order to improve management. At spatial scales ranging from experimental catchments to whole regions and temporal scales from days to decades, we will focus on upland Wales as a representative European region in which rivers are a major feature and also because of its long scientific tradition Wales is rich in the type of data we need. The team, researchers and stakeholder partners will work together to deliver the evidence and tools needed. For example, 
to help the water industry implement a whole catchment approach to water quality management, to provide land managers and policy makers with evidence to deliver the Water Framework Directive and guide environmental frameworks, and to place alongside conservation efforts that currently revolve around flora and fauna a strong sense of ecosystem functions that also deliver human benefits. These are major scientific challenges, but through the wider BEST programme, there are huge opportunities to apply the ecosystem service approach alongside existing nature conservation, to improve the way we manage our landscapes to benefit both the environment and the communities that depend on them.